yeah, and Rashad and, you know, obviously Ola did some nice things. Um, we've, um, you know, showed up just like we had talked about, you know, in the practices leading up to this game that he was becoming much more active, um, comfortable, just playing. So we'll take a look at his effort and, you know, I'm sure there'll be a lot of things to coach, but, um, you know, I thought that group, um, you know, played hard and, and if, you know, they, the, the quarterback, you know, was running around there. So once we figured that out uh, and they were able to not run by him and, you know, the fourth quarter, we were able to, to get some sack production. Well, they were blitzing the shit out of him. So, you know, he took care of himself and, and, and huge fourth down. Um, you know, we were fishing. We took care of the football. Um, and, you know, got a turnover there. We'd like to get another one. But, you know, I felt like he was composed. And then, you know, Matt, once he came in and settled down, I thought did okay. Looked fast. You know, I told David I thought he was playing fast. And I, I thought that was really cool from where I was standing. I just... You know, he got in there, was efficient with the with the snaps that he got, and felt like he was really flying around, playing fast. You know, I mean, we have some injuries, so and you know, we have some guys that that were unavailable. Um, I think we're building some depth, you know, and I think that that's you know some of those guys that have been with us and are playing with a lot of confidence. I thought, you know, if you look at young guys, Tier Tart, Merch, uh, David, you know, those guys in their second or third year. You know, Amani Hooker is continuing to develop, so that's been, you know, good to see Christian Fulton. You know, they bailed us out. I think there was a penalty, and he was playing a, maybe not the, the best technique or wasn't as playing as tight as we'd liked him to be, and you know, came back in the same third down situation and stabbed through the pocket. And you know, so that was good to see after that kind of first one that we got bailed out with on the penalty. Offensively, I mean, it's just it's kind of who we had. They all knew they were going to play. Um, I think that they they did a fairly nice job. I mean, we, we ran the football. You know, we were we were pretty efficient running the football, and we ran it there in the fourth quarter when when they knew we were going to run it. Um, so, you know, we'll take a look at some of those pressures, and, and obviously, it could always be better, but. You know, I thought I saw him finishing. I saw him push, trying to push piles there late in the game. All the stuff that that we ask of him. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think you know that was we touched on that before, and you know we started a game in there, and then then moved outside when Quiz went out. So, you know, we'll see how it looked at guard and see how it looked at tackle, and you know, keep coaching him, and, and I know that he'll keep working and you know try to improve. Yeah, we got to play faster on a punt team, and the coverage units need to be faster. You know, we want to talk about a fast and violent football team, and you know, I just didn't feel our kickoff team. You know, our kickoff return continues to. Um, you know, I, I think that there, we, we have to be better there. You know, and you know, Chet hit a nice return. Um, our kickers did kick the ball well, and so that's there's some positives there, but there's some things that that need to continue to be better. Well, he wasn't able to finish, so we'll evaluate him and uh, see where he's at heading into Tampa. Uh, Elijah Molden was not on the trip. Yeah, Corey, we, it's like uh, Centrum Silver. That's like one a day, you know what I mean? Whether we needed it or not, that, that quarterback center exchange. and. It needs to get fixed, and it's you know there's no excuse for it whatsoever. Um, and they did respond. You know they did. They they knew they were getting pressure, and you know I thought thought our coaches did a nice job putting us in in good runs and finding runs that they felt like were going to be efficient. And you know whether that was Brian or Jeremy or Mackay, you know obviously saw Darrington get a little bit of work in there early. Um, you know we'll have to clean up some of the penalties. You know, some of those things that, that we've been coaching, hands to the face and, you know, having the discipline at the line of scrimmage and you know, they got us for a clip. And then we, we were holding on third and 16. So, you know, 
part of being good on third down is, you know, I know statistically it won't show up because it's a penalty, but that would, that's a first down conversion on third and 16. So those are things that we can improve on. Sure. Kind of like he did the other day, you know, um, you know, he got in there and we had a, you know, this third down period and he was really showing up and, you know, quarterbacks, from my experience, they throw to guys that they trust because they know that they're going to be open. They're going to be where they're supposed to be. And, um, you know, that, that, that's what they do. You know, they throw to the guys that they trust when you get in a game situation. So, um, you know, we were able to find them there a couple times, came up with some huge conversions uh, in the second half. Breon's very competitive. You know, Breon is, is, is a guy we love to coach. He loves to, to, to play football. You know, he loves football and he comes into work. Uh, it's not always perfect, but he, he's coachable, plays hard. Um, you know, and so, you know, they work through the operation of, of overturning that call there without us having a challenge or without Arthur having a challenge. So, but Breon, you mentioned Breon, that's a guy that, um, you know, does a lot for us and is very coachable and I think he continues to improve. Well, there's always a transition. I mean, I, we're conscious of that. Um, you know, there's just a lot of things, you know, a lot of things that would be would be different for these guys. And, you know, as long as that they start to show uh, positive signs of improvement, you know, that's what really what we're looking for. Um, it's not making the same mistakes, you know, over and over again, but, but trying to find a way to to correct those and, and, and make new mistakes and then correct those and keep, continue to get better. And, you know, this was a this was big for these guys to come out here and be able to, to play and tackle and you know in these situations and taking the next step from where we'd been at practice as far as a live action. Yeah, I mean, I think that you know we're never going to underestimate winning at anything. You know, we're gonna we're gonna want to compete with whoever's in there. I felt like offensively. Early in the second half, that was not to our standard. I thought there was too much walking around, you know. So we got those guys together and asked them to to, to get out of the huddle, and get to the line of scrimmage, and, and and try to play with the you know the identity that we're trying to establish. And I felt like they did that, you know, after that early on in the second half. Sure. I mean, there's a lot of you know there's a lot of competition in that room. You know, there's a lot of a lot of guys that have done some really nice things. And so when one guy does something and the next guy hopefully tries to do something and, and you're creating a lot of competition in there and Cam's a guy that you know, we've had a lot of experience with and for whatever reason, you know, injuries and, and, and certain things that he maybe hasn't been able to be available to us uh, in the past, but he's been out there and you know, continuing to improve and, and obviously has a toughness uh, level to him that allows him to to go in there and compete inside in a slot or, or return punts or kickoffs for us.